Hello, my friends. Nurse Young here. Boy, do I miss each of you so very much. And I bet you're missing your teachers and your classmates, but I hope you've been able to connect online through your Google Classrooms. Now, I wanted to talk to you about something that I'm guessing you might be wondering about. I have it here in my magic box. So let's see. Well, this little friend is sure cute and cuddly, but not what I had in mind. Let me try again. Now this is sure a whole lot of fun, but again, sometimes my magic box has a mind of its own. Let me try one more time. Ah, uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. You have probably seen a lot of people wearing masks like this on their face. And it might seem strange and maybe even a little scary. The mask hides my favorite part of a person's face, their smile. But people are wearing masks for a very important reason. These masks help protect against COVID-19. Now, just what is COVID-19? It is a type of virus called a coronavirus. Corona means crown, and these viruses get their name because they have spikes shaped like crowns on their surface. Can you see how it looks like a ball with a lot of little crowns on it? But viruses are so tiny that the only way we can see them is with a microscope. A microscope can zoom way in to see very tiny things that we cannot see with our eyes alone. Now we know that the COVID-19 coronavirus is so tiny that it is invisible. But what does it do? It's a virus, which is a germ that can make you sick. If you are sick with the COVID-19 virus, you might have a fever, a cough, or some trouble breathing. Another virus you have probably heard of is the flu. And when the flu virus is in your body, you can feel very sick. I remember many of you missing several days of school this past winter because you were homesick with the flu virus. But the sneaky thing about this COVID-19 virus is that you might have it in your body and not feel sick at all. But even though you might not feel sick, you could still make others sick. The COVID-19 virus wants to get inside as many bodies as possible. It likes to travel in a sneeze or cough or on your hands. Other people around you can catch the virus if you sneeze or cough near them or if they touch something that you have touched. The COVID-19 virus is very contagious. When an illness is contagious, it means one person can catch it from another. By covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough, you can prevent viruses from traveling through the air. It's also important to wash your hands to prevent the spread of germs on objects that other people might touch. So all around the world, we are doing things to fight the COVID-19 virus. We are washing our hands. By coughing or sneezing into our elbow, we help to prevent the spread of the virus. And wearing a mask that covers our mouth and nose is another thing we can do to protect others from the invisible COVID-19 virus. This is why you might see doctors or nurses wearing masks, gloves, and other things like goggles and gowns. These items are called PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. They help prevent the spread of viruses. So you might see a nurse dressed like this, but remember, underneath this personal protective equipment is a nurse you just might know and recognize. You know who else wears masks? Superheroes. Think about Batman. Bruce Wayne looks just like a regular guy, but when he wants to protect and save people, he puts on his Batman mask. Wonder Woman does the same thing. She ordinarily dresses like Diana Prince, but when it is time to help and protect others, she puts on her Wonder Woman outfit. So how can you be a hero? 
wash your hands, cover your cough and sneeze, and if you are going to be in public around other people, you can wear a mask. Remember, you might see mom or dad wearing a mask to the grocery store, and it might seem strange, but they are just doing their part to protect others from the COVID-19 coronavirus. We can all be heroes in the fight against this virus. So we know that this virus is contagious, but you know what else is contagious? Love and kindness. For instance, some families have taken a teddy bear and put it in the front window to cheer up anyone passing by their home. Others thought that was a great idea. And now there are many homes with teddy bears in their windows and kids can go on a teddy bear hunt. So you see, one act of kindness can be contagious and then it inspires other people to do more acts of kindness. You know what else is contagious? Laughter. Have you ever started laughing with a friend and then another friend starts laughing and before you know it, everyone in the room is laughing? Laughter is the best medicine. It is so good for us to laugh many times each day, even on the tough days, especially on the tough days. Laughing does help you feel better. It truly is the best medicine. So I would like to end with a joke that I hope makes you laugh. My magic box usually has a pretty good collection of jokes. So let's see. Oh, this should be good. Oh. Hmm. Here we go. Three friends are driving in a desert when their car breaks down. For their hike to town, they each decide to take one thing with them. One friend takes a jug of water. The second takes a sandwich. The last one takes one of the car doors. The first friend says to the last one, I'm bringing the water because if I get thirsty, I can take a drink. And it makes sense to bring a sandwich if we get hungry. But why did you bring the car door? And the friend replied, if I get hot, I can just roll down the window. <laughs> so remember, wash your hands, cover your cough, and spread kindness, not germs. <laughs>